Hello humans, this is Dr. Kai, and yes, I do still exist. I apologize for being a bit quiet lately. I've been very busy in real life, and I will be for a while yet, but I do plan on making a comeback with a vengeance. So don't go anywhere. I've got loads of great videos in store for you, like this one. I prepared a real treat. I have updated Elite Dangerous Profiler to work with version 2.3, and I've created something awesome, which I'll tell you about in a second. In case you don't know what ED Profile is, it is a tool that allows you to create profiles with the various settings of Elite Dangerous. Um, for example, say we want to save all of these settings into a single profile called Super Dupa Profile. There you go. We've now created this profile and anytime we click it, we get those settings which we can apply to the game at any point. And when we start the game next, it will take all these settings. Um, it has some defaults built in. You can create some defaults for 2D and VR. Um, it allows you to create custom files that will run when you hit apply, for example, changing your audio device or starting ED discovery or whatever it is. And it allows you to unlock the model draw distance and also control bindings and GUI colors. And GUI colors is why we're here today because I have created some new tool within the tool called a GUI HUD colors editor. It will take whatever GUI color you've put into here and display it for you in all of its glory. What you can do is you can change the GUI colors live here and see what the results will be in the same way that the game does them. In case you didn't know, you can actually change the GUI colors and it, what it does is it uses a color matrix transform to go from the colors that you see here to a new set of colors. Now, Easy Profiler deals with that already and I'll show you how to do that, but in order to preview the changes before you can, I've ma made this lovely app, just like Arku, um, where you can actually change the values yourself and see how they affect the thing. So there you go, that's an example of how it works. A lot of you probably know this already. Um, and yeah, you can always go back to default whenever you want. Um, you can also create loads of profiles. ED Profiler comes with all these built-in profiles and uh, you can just click them and see what the results will be, scroll through them and then edit them like that. And it gives you all the numbers here. It's quite versatile, you can extend the range to 200%, go to negatives. I've constructed this image that has pretty much every HUD element in the game, so you can really compare what the changes are going to look like. Now, in case you've never done that before, Elite Dangerous allows you to apply some settings in the XML files that will change the HUD colors to basically look like this. Those are the settings you plug in there, um, and they are linked to these trackbars. It does it by a weird process called a matrix transformation, and very, very briefly, what that means is every single pixel has a color, and the color is broken up into a red, a green, and a blue, a value for each between zero and 255. And a matrix transform basically takes each pixel and applies some weird combination of adding them, based on the proportion put here, into an output. Um, and it applies that to every single pixel using the exact same transforms. So for example, oranges might become teal and blues might become gold in Dr. Kai's Spiritual Teal, for example. And this was an idea given to me by the guy behind V, the program that I've made videos about that allows you to have windows inside VR that play YouTube and browsers, little 3D windows that actually sit there in front of you that can be resized. You can browse Twitter while you're in space, really awesome. Anyway, he, his name is im 0 something 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 Ed, Ed and Eddie, which is way better than Cow and Chicken gave me the idea to actually create something that hasn't been done before, the ability to actually plan what the end result will look like. So I created it with this basic color picker, which can actually be expanded into even more colors. But let's start with this. So it comes in three different modes because the way matrix transforms work, there are many different ways of doing the same thing. Um, and it's a very weird little complicated process. So let's go through them. Blend is the first one. Blend basically takes the color that you pick and it just kind of blends it in. So if we click red now, it'll get a bit redder. If we click green, it'll get a bit greener. Purple, it'll get a bit purpler. And it will always be different depending on where you start. So for example, if we start there and then we click the red, it actually looks a bit more purple in this case, just because of the way it works. This one only affects the RR, the, R, uh, the GG, the middle one here, and the BB, which is the bottom right. Um, and so therefore, you probably don't want to do it from the default as a blend, because what will then happen, it will just get a bit darker, because all the other ones at default are zero, zero, and the, you know, the closer to everything zero is, the blacker it gets. But it's a good place to start, for example, and then you can kind of, you know, carry on and start blending from there. Um, then we've got replace, and again, there are several different ways of doing this. 
and what I've done is I've programmed it to change this orange to whatever you pick. This is Elite Dangerous's default orange in my opinion, um, it's kind of the main colour. So when you change this to the colour that you pick, everything will really look like that, except the highlights, which are blues. We'll talk about the highlights in a minute. So for example, if I click that now, we get very, very red. If I click that now, we get very, very green. This isn't a blend. Um, it will always look the same for all of the oranges. The oranges will always turn the same colour, but it's only affecting this one, this one, this one, and this one. So depending on where these guys start out, it could still look a little bit different overall. So now if we click red, it's going to look slightly different. And you will notice one thing though, this orange has absolutely zero blue in it, so no matter what you do with the, any of the bottom bars, it will always stay the same colour. So if we make it red now, still going to stay red even if we mess around with these. So there you go, that's a little clue for helping you fiddle. And that also brings us onto the highlights, because the highlights do have blue. So when we edit the highlights, it's going to affect this one, this one, and this one. And that is it. So when we're in replace highlights mode, it was only going to change the highlights, the blues, which is the secondary colour really in my opinion. So for example, if we click red now, they become red. If we click yellow, become yellow, and so on. It makes a great place to tweak. So you can, for example, start off purple, but then you can have some green highlights which comes out a bit like this because again it's also kind of dependent on the other colors as well which don't get affected by the highlights replacement um, but it's a good place to start and there you go when you've got something that you like you click OK and that goes directly back into ED Profiler which you can then save as a preset so har, 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 you create funny names like I do and then you can actually apply it and come back to it anytime you want it will be there, there you go, you can also flick through all your other ones that you've saved and ED Profiler comes with a whole bunch, it comes with some that are very avatar friendly, all of the ones starting with NO20 which stands for No to Orange um, and they're all avatar friendly, give or take, unfortunately I'm not able to put avatars here because they do not get transformed in the same way. Um, I'm trying to work that out, but it's going to be hard. If anyone has any clues, let me know. But especially, I think, don't think it's possible for us to just work it out because it's so complicated. I think Frontier needs to just explain it. So Frontier, if you're listening, could you please be in touch with me? I'm going to send you a message. If you could just tell me how it's done. I want to make this tool as useful as possible for everyone. So all you need to do is tell me how avatars are affected by the matrix. And then I can include this in the GUI HUD colors editor. Just to prove the point, this is Dr. Kai's Spiritual Teal. And as you can see, it's teal and gold, and avatars look fine in it. But if I put avatars into the image and apply the transform to Dr. Kai's spiritual teal, it doesn't work the same as you can see. But I do keep checking for updates because I'm going to try my absolute best to get that working because I think it's really important. I'm probably going to share the source code for this because it's quite fun and I definitely would like some people to improve it. This is where the magic happens for the color picking. I hope this tool adds infinite value to your lives and you come up with the most funky, awesome amazing huds known to man and you share them and i get to see some of them and if you see any bugs do let me know but until the next time we meet and the next awesome amazing thing i have for you so long humans to the heavens to see what secrets they hold join me as i sail amongst the stars